Greetings, Internet. Welcome to Aaron Plays. This will be our first episode of Combat Commander. This is scenario five from the original um, Combat Commander Europe set. And this will be an opposed play against a human opponent using the Basel module. His name is James. Um, so I'm playing the Soviets, Russian force in this. I'm going to be using those names interchangeably. And he's playing the Germans. He did a German setup. I've now done the Russian setup. And we're ready to go. So I'll get to see my cards. I put here the discard pile so I can keep track of what's actually happening on that. But I won't get to see what cards he's got. So I'll keep my cards and I'll draw my cards on here. But I won't get to see what his cards and what options he's got. So if you like playing, you guys watching me play the game and seeing what he, how he responds. So this was played live last night. I know the result. I'm now going just through the log and making this as a as a video to put onto the, my YouTube channel. I'm not going to go into the details of the rules. There are plenty of videos out there explaining how the rules work. However, uh, in, in detail, but when things occur, and so I introduce new things, so like when I first start moving a unit, I'll explain what the three values are on it and such forth. So the rules will be assimilated as we go through. Um, so therefore, if you're completely new to this, you can pick up what's going on, hopefully. But I'm not going to sit here for an hour droning on about the rules as such. So I'm going to give a brief overview of what this scenario is. So it's called Cold Front. It's scenario five from the original book. Yeah, the playbook. Um, myself and James have played the previous four. And we're currently standing on two games each, two wins each. So um, we are, our intention is to move play through all the scenarios in this, in this book. Um, we've both played Combat Commander before in the past. I mean, this game's been out since, I think, was it 2006, 2007? So it's been out for a while. Um, my background in tactical combat, I mean, I'm a squad leader, then ASL player. Um, I haven't played ASL since 2016, but I used to play quite avidly before then. I've played Bland of Brothers. I've played Conflict, uh, Conflict of Heroes. And yeah, I'm playing this. Now, my personal opinion of this, this is a good fun light -like game. Um, and I think it's more a game of trying to control the chaos around you rather than being a totally tactical um, simulation, as it were. So it's more of a, a light and fluffy, but it's, you know, it, it can get very frustrating. I mean, I got very frustrated in prior games when the cards go against you. Um, and sometimes, uh, yeah, there's just nothing, absolutely nothing you can do. So, yeah. But myself and James are of a, a comparable skill level. We don't have to make too many rules questions. I think in last night's game, when we played this last night live, um, I think we had one rules query um, throughout. So, yes. Um, so what's this scenario about? Okay, so I'm going to give you the situation report. So it's Russia, December the 30th, 1941. When, when winter hit the Eastern Europe with its full fury in late 41, the German 26th Infantry was just one of many Axis divisions halted more by the extreme weather than by the stubborn Russian defense. In the final weeks of 41, the 31st Soviet Army, part of the Kalin Front under General, and I'm gonna screw up the names here, Yushkevich, received a large influx of Siber Siberian troops. Clad in quilted jackets and fur hats and inured to the cold, they led many small unit actions up and down the frozen front. One such attack took place near Zaritsa, northwest of Moscow, as German troops of Infantry Regiment 18 were fighting to stay warm in their trenches. So, what we have here as a, as a defense, we've got two German leaders and three squads and one weapons team. So if I hover over, you can see there's a heavy machine gun, a weapons team, and Lieutenant Pasties in there. In this hex, there is a rifle squad with an LMG, a 
In this one, there is another rifle squad, an LMG, and in this one, a sergeant, another leader, a weapons team carrying a satchel charge. Okay. He's also got six trenches. He's placed three back here and three for his frontline units. And let's have a look at my forces, the Soviets. I've got a total of, I think it's 12 of these Siberian troops around. And I've got four leaders trying to keep them under control. Okay. So we've marked the year as 1941. The victory point marker starts at the nine space. Okay. All of the locations start under German control. But the objective, there's no objective for these buildings. It doesn't mean it won't be partial way through the game, but not at the start. We've only got one objective, which is W, which is exit points are double. So get every unit that exits the board, the opposite side. So if I get anything from this side to this side, they normally count as two victory points for the squads, well, they'll actually be doubled to four. And the leaders are worth their command value, which is the number in the hex, uh, and one point. So this guy would be worth two. I keep saying this guy, and hopefully you can see the mouse. So if I highlight, he'd be worth two, whereas this guy would be worth the top one here. It would be worth, come on, work, no. So work anyway. This guy here, yeah, will be worth three points. So exiting. So then we also have other conditions on there. Time track. So it starts at five, and sudden death is at thirteen. So every time we get a time event, and a time event is when either a deck runs out or we roll. Uh, I think it's double six. Um, this one move up, and when it reaches that box, the game will end. Um, we also have on here the amount of orders tracks. I can do five orders in a turn, and he can do three. And that's about it. So he was allowed to set up within 12, you know, first 12 hexes from his board edge. So he could have set up from here all the way up to here, and I could only set up from here to here. Uh, he's obviously gone for a, a deep defence. And, yeah, so what other special conditions? It's winter, so it's deep freeze. One of these German weapons will be broken randomly, so we'll work out which one it will be in a moment. There is snow, so the movement cost for each one of these open hexes, open ground, is one and a half, one is one, instead of one. Winter camouflage, so for myself, for um, if I play a concealment, he gets a minus two on his attack, in addition to me getting plus two for my defense, and I'll be taking the first turn. That's it. All good to go. Um, his first comment there was high. He was very polite. Um, I wasn't. And that's his random roll. We worked out that, okay, we just look at the white dice here, and he numbered it one, two, three, four, one or two. So this LMG here is broken. Okay, and as you can see, he flips that. We then put that back in the discard pile, as you can see here, and then he shuffled them. He's still got his 72 cards. He then drew his hand, and I drew my hand. And I'll show you my hand in a moment. Okay, so as the attacker, I am allowed six cards. Okay, I've also got the initiative here, which I can use to... I don't like any particular die rolls. So, yeah, it's not a great hand. Let, let, oh, oh, let's see if I can zoom this in a bit, make this a bit bigger. Uh, plus that, okay. Because I'll be bringing this up and down as, as we go, so I'd like you guys to see it. Um, I'm on the attack, remember? Uh, okay, and as you can see, yeah, I've got artillery quest. Useless, I've got no artillery. Recover, well, no one's broken, so no use. Action fire, I'm too far away to fire. I'll explain why in a moment. Another action fire. Command confusion, no use to me, and action fire. So in other words, nothing. Rubbish. So, um, why is my fires no use? Well, I've got no heavy weapons. And if we look at one of my squads, okay, it's got three values there. The first one is its firepower. The reason why it's boxed, it gets an additional one in melee. 
Second one's its range, range of three, and its box will sometimes allow me to play um, fire cards as I'm moving, and five is their movement value. The eight is their morale. So that's the three numbers. So it's firepower, range, movement value, and the top number in the white is morale. So as you can see, I've only got a range of three. Nowhere am I near with three, so useless. Anywho, moving on. He's drawn his cards. So the attacker gets six cards. Defender gets four. So you can see on, on, on this track, if I was playing Defender, you only get the four cards there. I get six as I'm the attacker. So it gives me, theoretically, more options. Okay. Allied first turn. Well, guess what I did? Discarded three cards. Drew three cards. That was it. That was my initiative. All used up. I was so excited by that. Great start to the game. And yeah. And what did I pick up? More fire. Another recover. Oh, an artillery press. Well, I have got an advance now, so at least I could do something. But not great. So what did... So German turn, he decided to discard four. The discard limit, I couldn't discard more than three because that's the Russian discard limit. The Germans could actually discard, well, can discard all their whole hand because they can discard up to four. But if he has on the attacker, he could actually discard a thing. He says now referring to one of the charts, he can actually discard all, he could discard all six. So showing that tactical flexibility that the Germans have as opposed to the Russians. So he's just discarding four cards. So there they are going to his discard pile. And I draw. And he draws four cards to fill up. Back to me. Well, I'm not happy with my card still, as I, sh I showed you. One advance is not going to get me anywhere. I need a move card. I need to get moving. So I, again, discard the cards. And drew cards. It looks like I forgot to draw the cards. I then drew the cards, remembering that I should have done. Okay. So what did I pick up? I still wasn't happy. Artillery denied. A bit more, you know, recover, fire. So I've still only got one advance. This is a great attack. Must be really, really cold. So press the wrong button there. Okay, so I then went, right, I'm discarding three cards again. And I did remember to draw the cards correctly. Was I excited yet? Well, we'll see after what the German does. He's still discarding, so he's obviously getting some cards into his hand. Russian turn. I actually had a move card. And off we go. Well, so I play the move card, that's the move action. I then can activate the group of soldiers. Now I've highlighted on here, I'm activating, what's his name, Sergeant Molesky. Now he's got the three values at the bottom are the same. So he's got firepower one, range one, movement of six, morale of eight, and then he's got that little thing in the, in the hexagon, his command value. So he can command troops all within one hexagon. So when he plays, I'm playing the move card on him, and he can activate troops other than other leaders. He can't activate other leaders within one hex of where he is. So as you can see, I'm activating all the units. They've got a nice little green border on them. I can zoom in on this. Okay, so as you can see, they've got a nice little green border around them to just show to show that they have been activated by that actual move card. And then I can move. Now, moving through this terrain, this is brush. That costs me two movement points. And they've got five, so that's two. This is marsh. That costs three movement points, so that's five, so that'll be him done. Next one will be two, four. I can move any further. Squad under here, that's two, four. The leader's moved up. He can move six, so he's gone two, four to there. And the R squad's gone two, four to there. So once I have finished, um, I click the next order. This highlights as in red, so I can't activate them again this turn. 
Remember, I can activate up to I can play up to five cards in my turn. So I've played one. I've actually got some guys moving. I'm very happy at this point. Okay. So it then plays in advance. I play that advanced card that I had from before. Okay. And again, I'll, I'll quickly highlight these, but this guy I've activated, Sergeant Kovalev, Kovalov. And he's got a command range of two, so he can activate all those guys that are within two hexes of him, which he's done for an advance. A move card allows you to be to move your full movement value, but you can be fired at by your opponent. An advance, you cannot be fired at while you play an advance, but you only can move one hex. As you see, that's what I've done. You decided to change that move from there to there. And again, I hit that next order that highlights them all. Go through the log. So it's completed the order. And then I complete I draw cards because I didn't want to do any more. So what I do to actually clear those, I actually press this button. So if you're not used to the Bastel module, this is how it works. So you, you press these buttons to, to scroll through, press next order, or you click the units to activate them. Next order will highlight them, and then this one will actually finish your turn. Would be useful if it were told you that. If it took us ages to work that one out when we first started playing. Okay. Um, I'm just drawing the two cards. And it's now the German's turn, and he's just discarding still. Russian turn. I'm going to go and pause quickly because I'm going to have a cup of tea. Okay. So I've made myself a cup of tea so my throat doesn't get too exhausted. And we continue. So it's another Russian turn. Have I got anything great? Route, route, fire, route, fire, fire. <sighs> so, pretty obvious what I'm going to do. Discard, discard, discard. Draw, draw, draw. I know, great excitement, isn't it? And sometimes you're going to get turns and turns and turns. Which is the same as, you know, if you've ever played up front, it's similar. You know, if you haven't got a fire card, you can't fire. If you haven't got a move card, you just can't move. So, anyway, Germans discard again. All he's done is discard, so he's, he's, he's obviously getting a nice little hang together. Russian turn. Okay, I did get a pick up an additional move card there. So, I then activated the southern group again to keep them moving forward. Yeah, this this is the woods here. He can't see me at the present moment. So let's get as far as we can before we get interrupted. So it costs three to go the, through the marsh. So it's three, four, five. Three, four, five. Two, five. Two, four. And then I was going to move him here. To realize, oh, to keep him under command. And I realize I've taken him out. Come on, I shouldn't have moved, I should not have moved this guy here. Bad move. Okay. So rather than move the leader there, I've decided to move him here instead. Keeping those on to command. Notice they've gone red because I've pressed next order. And this time I've got an advance again. So I picked up, I activate all them again. I know they can't be interrupted by fire, so there they go. So, complete my orders, complete the turn, and draw two new cards. Okay, German turn. He discards one again. I mean, he's got nothing really to fire. I mean, he could be firing at these guys, I suppose, but I presume he's keeping his powder dry until there's an actual threat. Draw the card, Russian turn. So, what did I pick up? Again, I've got a fire. Command confusion, fire, route, fire, fire. Nothing useful. Okay. Also, I do notice that I've got a few ambushes. I, might, I want to keep hold of those. I've got three. I need to keep at least two of them, but uh, obviously I need to get rid of some of these cards to, to keep myself moving. So it is the, the dreaded discard. Uh, discard three. So that's what it looks like after I've done my discard. So I've kept the three ambush cards. Hopefully, at some point, to get him into close combat. But I'm assuming he's keeping some ambush cards back too, because they're by far the most powerful cards. Um, draw number three cards, German turn, discarding again. Draws a card, 
Rush and turn. Okay, so what did I pick up? Anything exciting? Command confusion. Got a move card. Do I move with it? Let's have a look. Right, I just want to get some decent more, more cards rather than just one move. So I then, at that point, did actually discard one of those ambushes card because I did I want to obviously keep the move. I've kept those two ambush ready for if I do go into fisticuffs. Draw only three cards. German reveals a hidden unit. Because he played, as you can see, this card over here, hidden unit. Um, play when your opponent discards one or more cards, which I did. Roll on the German support table, select one available unit, play. So in other words, he's got stronger by me discarding. But, yep. Okay, I'll actually zoom out a bit now so you can see what he does. German playing hidden unit. He drew a card. It tells him on his chart what card he, what unit he got or what options he had. He took a Volks Grenadier and plonked him there. It was only after he'd plonked him and I'd actually moved on, he realized, oh, I could have actually placed him anywhere. Um, in his setup area. Um, so, German turn now, because that was all in my turn, because he got that unit from the discard uh, that I did, and he decides to discard another card. And then draw two card fills up. Back to me. Okay, so I'm now sitting with fire, artillery quest fire, one move, two moves, and fire. Oh, get excited. Two moves. So I actually play a move card. Bring up this leader. Well, I shall activate him first. You can look at the green highlight. It's two, four, six. That's him done. And I then finished. I did I wanted to keep the other move. But I definitely wanted to get him up. Oh, I didn't finish. There we go. There's the I activated this group here. One, so moving it was one and a half, and then into that building, moving in clear is one and a half because of the snow, and two to move in the building, so it was three, three and a half. At which, yeah, if you hear that, when you press, you can stop. There's this little symbol here, you can stop, you can get a nice little genuine sound effect. It's like, oh, how exciting! So he's firing, okay. He then plays, you should have played that as. An action, but it doesn't matter. Um, plays a fire card, and he then he activates his units that are actually firing. Okay, so he then working out the firepower that he's targeting that unit. Now, these units that he's activated to fire will be able to keep firing whilst I'm moving these units under this move card. If I stop now. They stop as well because the action's over. He can fire anything that moves via this particular order. So, um, next order, so next three. So, I agree, yeah, it was a fire. Okay, nice little sound effect there. All right, if you get an event card drawn, you get the, um, he, he, he checks what's written here. Uh, which is suppress one enemy unit in a hex with a friendly both range and line of sight of a friendly machine gun. Um, press one enemy. Oh, that, sorry, that's not the event. He's got to then draw an event. So his die, his attack is 12 plus the seven that he rolled on there here. But before that's resolved, we do the event. Okay. It tells me that the total score is 19. And the event that he got was deploy. He had the option here to remove a German squad and deploy it into two fire teams. He declined that option. My defense is a natural 11, so it's their morale, which is eight, and the building, which is plus three, so that is 11, plus whatever I draw for the card. 11 plus eight is 19, okay, which is the same as what he got. Now, if it's exactly this, if, for me to pass, I have to roll higher. I haven't rolled higher. If I roll lower, I break. If I roll exactly the same, which in this case I have, if I'm a moving unit, I break. If I'm not a moving unit, I will become suppressed. So I've changed the object to my control, and therefore I flip my unit to break. And to denote a broken unit is the, the red stripe. So, yeah. Oh, dear. Okay. 
And we then move on. Okay, breaker's moving, so I've mentioned that there. The next unit moves into there, one after the three. German checks line of sight. As opposed to ASL, um, you can check the line of sight before you declare a shot. And also as opposed to ASL, he can't fire even this machine gun down that spine. Whereas an ASL you can, and this one you can't. Okay. So he's checking the line of sight. So he's only got a five value of five on that, and that'll be from this hex here. So five plus what he rolls. Rolls another five, it's ten. Okay. I get an event, I still have to roll, even though my value is eight plus three is the ability level. It's already higher than his. I still have to roll because these things do happen. Okay, so my total is 18, so I've passed, and then I check for my event plus the wind, which it does nothing because it says up some dust on the battlefield. Okay, place smoke in a random hex. Oh, yes, it will be. Draw a random hex. Okay, which is 06. <laughs> so these guys, <laughs> they're having a smoke break. Okay. And also you check the number on this number for the broken. Let's just go back on that. His machine gun is repaired on a 5 or a 6 for a random number, and this was a 6. It was a seven or eight in that. So if it had been an 07, that machine gun would have been removed. If it had been an 03, it would have stayed um, not broken, but malfunctioned. So he got his machine gun back as well. Isn't that nice. Okay. So I continue moving. That's one and a half, three, five. He can fire into that hex. 13. <laughs> All right, and you get another sound effect if it's a sniper. You can see his box there. Or oh, maybe I need to just zoom in on that a little bit. Okay, so the box is a sniper. All right, his total attack is 21. All right, so you've got 13, and he's just rolled an, an 8. So yeah, 21. And we draw a, a random card for sniper. And it tells us N7. So if he'd drawn this card on the previous one, that would have broken his LMG. There's no one to target. Sniper targets anyone in and around that hex. There's no one there. And my guy's defense is 11, because he gets 8 plus 3 for the building. And my rolls are 7. So that breaks them. So there's two broken units with this guy here. So it was 2, 3.5. It's like a sight. Six. He's going to be firing these guys here. One, two, three, four, five. Because now his machine gun's fixed. It's gone up to six. Another event. Okay, so his total is 13. And he draws an event, which in this case is a blaze, a random was a random hex, and it turns out to be here. So a, a fire started here. So again, these guys who are having a smoke break have sets, or one of those tin cans where they were when it was winter, and they've got the logs in and such forth, and it's in October. And yeah, winter, snow, fire. Hmm, okay. Well, it's created. My defense is eight, and I roll a six, which is 14, which is better than his 13, so no effect on that unit. And uh, the next unit moves there, two, four, and then the leader patches up. He can target that hex again. Might have been best if I moved both units up at the same time, but he can target it again. He's um, attack of six, rolls an eight, 14. I test the squad first, so they get the leader's benefit. So looking at a morale check, so my squad's got a value of eight. It's plus three for the building, so it's 11, and he gets the command values, that's that number in the hex on the leader, or another two to take him to 13. So I'm going to auto pass this, the squad, because it's five. And then the leader obviously doesn't get the check himself for, him, for himself, pat himself on the back if he wants to, but he's not going to help in the die rolls. So he's only got 11, but he rolls with four, which is, again, enough. Okay. 
that's the end of that action. So it's completed the order. Okay, and I draw cards to finish. German turn. Checks line of sight, he's going to do some firing. I thought he was checking line of sight. So he plays a fire card. Activates those same units. Let me zoom back out again. Boom. He says his fire card. German rolls on nine. It's my six. Nine. What total? Fifteen. Squad thirteen. I think he was targeting one of these squads. Maybe we didn't. Uh, oh, let me get the time in. Double six on the squad. Pass the check. I do like the sound effects in this. I think they've done a good job. Some of the sound effects in some of the modules are plays like eh. these ones. Yeah, they're quite thematic. Time event. That means I will we'll go through it. Okay. So discard. I have to discard from here to go into my deck. So I've now got all my cards here. Okay. Remove. So German must shuffle. Why does German must shuffle deck? I must reshuffle it. Okay, as you can see, I moved those into my deck there. That auto does a shuffle. German has the defender, it's a VP, so he's gone from nine to ten, because the defender always gets a VP. The smoke disappears. One random smoke, well, one smoke is removed. So it's not random, it's chosen, but as there's only one smoke on the board, that's the one that's moved. And now I continue and check for my leader. Okay. Um, 11 plus 6, German rolls the dice again. 19. So it rolls a 10 for a sniper. This is all shooting around here. The sniper activated over here. And that was the end. It was completed the order. That was the only thing. It draws a card. Russian turn. I am. I'm going to stop at that point because we've been going on for, for long enough for this video. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, so, yeah, that's the end of this particular episode. I'm going to make the next episode for the rest of or continuing the game. I've, the whole game was completed last night. So it's going to be over maybe two well, or maybe three videos. I don't want to make them say the video is too long because I know the attention span of all of us today is, is, is of a gnat. So I'd like to say thank you. Do all the, the um, YouTube rubbish, you know, like, subscribe, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. do whatever you need to do in that. If you could, likes are always appreciated. Until next time, I've got to make sure I, I'm poised to, to hit the um, end button because it seems like every time I try to end it, it's always like, Ooh. so until next time, bye, internet.